Here is a Land Rover Defender 110. It costs $69,000, has a top speed of 149 miles per hour, ground clearance of up to 11 and a half inches, and a waiting depth of nearly three feet, making it an incredible vehicle to take off road. But can you sleep in it? So first things first, let's get into the back. First thing I noticed, we got some storage in the door, which is nice, hard plastic on the bottom. Here, there's actually storage underneath because our spare, of course, is on the back. But in order to sleep in the back, unless you're three feet tall, we're gonna have to set down the seats. The big question is, do they lie flat? So there's a button on each headrest. Press that, headrest goes down, lie them flat. Ugh, they don't lie flat or do they put it back up you'll notice there's a loop here pull that loop the cushion goes forward which allows this seat to lie flat we do the same thing on this side boom flat surface now that the seats are lying flat let's do some measurements so first things first we're going to put the measuring tape all the way up to where those cushions are and then all the way back to the door here Door closes at right about 64 inches. That's only five foot four. I'm five foot seven. Most of humanity is taller than that. Um, so that's not super great. Uh, if you don't mind dangling your feet over, however, we got this driver's seat all the way pushed forward. That gives you almost six and a half feet of room. So that is much preferred. Width-wise, I'm gonna measure it from the narrowest part. We're at 45 inches, and then up further towards the doors, you're gonna have a lot more space than that. Diagonally, if you're sleeping by yourself back here, you could definitely lay diagonally. And you're at right about 76 inches, so that's six foot four, and that's without putting your feet over onto these cushions. Finally, height-wise, we'll measure the shortest part. In the middle, we're at 37 inches where it comes down a little bit we're at 36 so three feet is not bad you could sit up easily i mean at least i can and not hit your head on the ceiling all right now let's get a sleeping bag in here and actually lay down all right this is my sleeping pad it is a thermarest z rest i think i bought this for ten dollars kind of folds out like an accordion which i like a lot better than the ones that roll up let me hop in before hopping in take off your shoes it'll keep everything cleaner and so this actually will rest over these cushions here and then we'll throw this sleeping bag the sleeping bag is going to be overkill for today i think it went down to like 38 degrees last night this is an 19 degree rated sleeping bag so it's actually not too bad and we'll close the door now one big downside of the defender 110 is that you cannot open this rear door from the inside so when you wake up in the morning you'll have to go out one of the two side doors which isn't ideal i like when i'm camping in the morning you know the air inside your tent or inside a car especially can get kind of stale and there's just something about throwing that door open in the morning letting all that cold air rush in the smell of the pine trees the views of the mountains the sounds of the birds i love that so land rover if you're watching please just make that small little change so we can sleep in the back more enjoyably that being said this vehicle wasn't designed to sleep in so i get it so i'm going to try two different ways of sleeping first my head up towards the front of the vehicle just because we have a little bit more space i like that um, it gets a bit narrow back here but we'll see how these cushions there up here put my feet pretty much against the back door and man my head hits these cushions kind of almost perfectly it's almost like a nice little pillow especially with this sleeping pad if you have a better sleeping pad like an inflatable one it'll feel even better yeah I'm digging it I think that this length is perfect for me at 5'7 if you're taller I think you might want to flip it and put your head towards the back so let's do that yeah letting your feet hang off the end gives you a ton more room especially when you push the front seats up more 
I'm not a huge fan of laying like this with my feet up. It kind of does <laughs> make it feel like all the blood's rushing to my head. But the Defender has something great in the back thanks to its air suspension. Um, it'll actually lower and raise the rear of the vehicle. We have buttons back here. You just press it to lower and raise with the air suspension. I like that a lot because A, a lot of campsites are not level, and B, if you're sleeping like I am with my feet up, I can then compensate for it and raise the rear so that I'm still laying level. Another nice thing up here is we have an area for you to charge your phone in the back of both seats. There's another two USB-C chargers down here as well as two 12 volt cigarette lighters and another cigarette lighter in the back. Let's hop around the back and talk about some of the other storage options. So in addition to the storage in the back of the door here, we have this elastic mesh netting. Got another place to store a Nalgene. This is a 48 ounce Nalgene. It works, doesn't fit perfectly. Turn over here, we have a normal size Nalgene and uh, that does fit perfectly. Here are those two buttons that I was talking about for you to raise and lower the back. And we have some hooks here and up here. There's a spot as well where you could possibly hang stuff. There are 15 windows in the Defender 110 and only one of them has a shade. So if it's hot out, if it's bright out, you're gonna want to build your own customized shades for those. You can find tutorials all over YouTube. Uh, super easy to do. I do like that there are that many windows in this vehicle because it does make it feel nice and airy whether you're driving in it or you're sleeping in it. Plus, if you're out somewhere where privacy isn't really an issue, kind of in the middle of nowhere, it's nice to be able to look out the sunroof up at the stars. One more bonus is up front. So normal center console, but in here there is the option to have a fridge which I love. It holds one, two, some candy, three, four, five, six cans. Now I would definitely, if I was going on a camping trip, bring along a cooler, but for a long road trip, it's nice that you can keep your beverages cold. And it's something that not a lot of vehicles these days have. Overall, the Defender 110 is pretty great to sleep in. The two knocks against it are the length if you're taller it's going to be a bit cramped and the fact that you can't open the rear door from the inside and for those reasons i'm going to give it four out of five z's